vitamin D in the prevention of osteoporosis and cancer. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. Now you've heard a lot about vitamin D, but let's set the record straight. What we now know is that the ideal blood level for vitamin D is above 85 nanomoles per liter, and it should be below 250 nanomoles per liter. And when you're in that range, there seems to be a strong association in terms of uh, a reduction in risk of cancer and osteoporosis, possibly multiple sclerosis and also diabetes starting to show up as well uh, as uh, is something linked to vitamin D in terms of preventing diabetes with higher levels of vitamin D. So how does it work to reduce risk of cancer? How does vitamin D reduce risk of cancer? Well, it, it slows down the rate at which cells divide. When cells divide more slowly, they make fewer genetic mistakes, much less of a chance that mutations will occur that are going to cause cancer. Also, when cells are, when old, new cells are emerging from old cells, they have to fully mature into adult cells. This is called differentiation. Vitamin D helps to push the cell to complete differentiation, so the cells are really mature. The more mature a cell is, the less likely it is to be transformed into a cancer cell. And vitamin D also has important effects we're starting to recognize on the immune system. And if cancer cells are emerging, you know it's the immune cells that have to find those cancer cells and, and, and knock them out if they get past a certain stage in their development. So having a strong immune system is really important. In terms of osteoporosis, vitamin D helps to increase the absorption of calcium from the intestinal tract into the bloodstream. And of course, calcium is required for bone density to keep your bones strong. And what vitamin D actually does is in one of its roles is that it increases the synthesis of the protein that carries calcium from the intestinal tract into the bloodstream. And so higher blood levels of vitamin D stimulate the gene inside that intestinal cell to produce more of the protein that carries the calcium across. A lot of people don't recognize that that's the actual role of vitamin D in calcium absorption. Now, you can make vitamin D from sunlight, as you know, sunlight hits your skin, you can make vitamin D. But you can't make vitamin D through a window. So if you sit near a window on a nice warm sunny day, the sunlight that comes in is, is the window pane is filtering out the wavelengths that actually make vitamin D in your skin. So you can't make vitamin D that way. There is vitamin D in some foods, particularly some fish are very high in vitamin D. So to really understand all the details about vitamin D and its relationship to cancer and osteoporosis, click on the link below and read my review article, Vitamin D in the Prevention of Osteoporosis and Cancer. You know, it includes how much vitamin D you should have each day to get yourself into that ideal range. All the details are there. Everyone needs to know this information in, the, in this day and age. Some studies have shown that, you know, higher vitamin D levels may reduce your risk of cancer by as much as 50%. If they made a, a drug that could lower your, your risk of cancer by 50%, people would be lining up all day long to get that particular drug. So I'm saying that there's evidence to show that vitamin D is in that league and you need to understand exactly how to use it in an optimal way, in a way that's going to really serve you best without it being toxic. So click on the link, read the article. Remember that at machinohealth.com you'll see my other research review articles, you'll see teaching materials, footage from my live seminars, other resources, downloads that I've created, all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my research review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references so you'll know you're getting only sound scientific information from me on anything that you're looking for. So you really should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing reliable resource for health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.